So this is it. This armillary can finally be assembled, and the Starborn assure that something will happen on the other side. Something that will make us like them. Funny. I thought after all this time I'd be screaming in excitement to jump into the unknown, but I feel like I'm hesitating. That's not what I mean, but I love you too. Say we go to the Unity, become Starborn, enter another universe. Will there even be a constellation there? It won't be ours, even if it is. We both know that one of us is going to let Curiosity win out, eventually. It's who we are. But I wouldn't mind pretending one universe is enough. For a little while, at least. you're enjoying the view? I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. Everyone says that when they hear themselves for the first time. But no, you don't sound like this. At least not this you. I am as much you as you are part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place, the Unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? your decision will be then. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you, that something that makes you unique amongst the infinite, will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever. Even as you leave it behind. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? 
terrestrial or celestial. One day, you might even meet the creators. But not this day. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question, so that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysteries of the unending cosmos. An example might help. If your colleagues in Constellation also choose to be reborn, for instance, then their spirit of discovery will spread across this universe. More people will start looking up at the night sky and wonder, what's out there? Walk into the Gate of Light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But, that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the Unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your ship, in your universe. You could live out the life you have. I've enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving, as the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. Your lover, Sarah Morgan, eventually chooses to be reborn herself. Your commitment to each other bolsters all relationships in the settled systems. Marriages blossom, more children are born who want to be explorers. Your work with UC Sistef against the Crimson Fleet is a triumph of law over greed. The UC establishes greater security throughout the settled systems. Travelers throughout the stars will be safer. Once you are reborn, there is no going back. By defeating both the Hunter and the Emissary, the path to the unity in this universe is left for the people of the settled systems to discover on their own, uninterrupted by powerful Starborn. Constellation membership who stays behind Will in time publish their data about the discovery of the artifacts, the Starborn, and the Unity. Space exploration across the settled systems is given new life as people search for hope out there in the stars. It has been good to see you. Although you leave this universe behind, a new universe awaits you. Who will you be in this one? What choices will you make? Mmm. -hmm.